Hello guys, it's Alexis. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you guys what's my makeup bag. So I'm super excited for this video because this is my first video of 2017, which is completely crazy. I can't believe it's already 2017 and to think that next year I'm going to be graduating and being a senior. So I'm super excited. I'm super excited for this year. Um, I'm going to a lot of YouTube things this year, hopefully. Hopefully, because in May I'm going to California, so I'm going to be visiting the YouTube facility, so I'm super excited for that. But, yeah, I just want to wish you guys all a happy new year, and I hope you guys all had a happy new year and a good holiday season. But without further ado, let's just get into this video. So, this is my makeup bag, and it is just by Betsy Johnson. I'm obsessed with Betsy Johnson. If you know my channel, and you know me, you know I love Betsy Johnson, and all my bags are from her. So, this is just my makeup bag, and it's a leather bag, and it has, like, lips on it. And then, it just has this clear opening part right here, where you can kind of see inside, which I think is really handy. And it's bigger. I upgraded from my last What's My Makeup Bag because I needed a bigger makeup bag. So, let's get started. So, the first thing I have in my makeup bag is an eyeshadow palette. So, I know this is like a little bit much, but this is recently what I used. This is the recent eyeshadow palette I used. And I always just carry around the eyeshadow palette and whichever eyeshadow palette I'm using. Obviously, if it's able to fit in, like my Morphe palettes don't fit in, but this one's small enough to fit in, so I just brought it with me just in case it got messed up, you know, anything could happen. So, yeah, the first thing I have is just the Tarlet into Bloom eyeshadow palette in here. The next thing I have in here, this is an everyday thing, is just my MAC Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. And this is just what it looks like, you know, the basic Studio Fix Foundation, and I always use this for touch-ups. It usually lasts all day when I spray the Fix Plus spray, but you never know. Like I said, it's always good to have makeup, especially powder. This is good coverage. And then the brush I bring with it is this Kabuki brush, and I love this brush. It literally blends it in so flawlessly, so I just always carry this around because I don't like the sponge that it comes with. Like, if you get MAC products, you know it comes with the sponge. I hate it. Like... I don't like it. it. It just, I don't know, I hate it. I feel like it smears my makeup and looks, makes it look gross. So I like my Kabuki brush. This is just like my little travel brush. So that was the next thing that was in here. The next thing I have in my makeup bag is just eyebrow gel. So this is also by MAC. I have a lot of MAC things in here. So I just carry my eyebrow gel because my eyebrows always fall out of place during the day. Like, if you notice that, my videos, like, they're always falling down. So when they fall down a lot, I just apply the... I just apply this eyebrow gel, and it just kind of helps them put in place, and it's just a quick fixer. It's just gel, so it's nothing too extreme. That's going to mess your makeup up. It's just a quick rub on it, and yeah. The next thing I have in here is a mirror. Obviously, a mirror's key. You can't do your makeup without a mirror. If you're not, like, access to buy a mirror, like, in a bathroom, I just have this small mirror, and I got this, like, at the Dollar Tree, literally, so it's the bomb.com. It's a double-sided mirror. I don't want it to blind you guys, but it's a double-sided so you guys could see, and it just says love, and yeah, so it's super cute. That's the next thing I have. The next thing I have in here is an eyelash curler. So my eyelashes always tend to fall down, and I hate it. So I just got me an eyelash curler in here so I could keep my eyelashes up and curled all day long. So the next thing I have in here is a Vaseline. My lips are always, always dry, so I always make sure I have a Vaseline or a car mix with me, but I'm literally obsessed with this new Vaseline lately. So this is what I've been using, and if I want to take off liquid lipstick, Vaseline and Carmex is a great thing to get off liquid lipstick. So, I just have that in there. The next thing I have in here, I always have a lipstick with me, but this is just the most recent lipstick I had in my makeup bag, I guess, and it's just the NYX Lingerine, and I absolutely adore this color. It's like a gray-purple tone, and it is in the color Lip Lee. Oh, it's so beautiful. But this is just the color I have. It's not the color I have every day. Like I said, I always change it up with it every day. But this was like the makeup I had yesterday in it, so yeah. The next thing I have in here is this weird tool. I don't know what it's called, but it just has an eyelash comb on this end, like to get the clumps out, and then this one to comb through them. And then this part right here is like the eye guard, so you put it under your eye so you don't get mascara under, and then you do this one on the top so you don't get it on top. So I just have that weird tool that comes in handy. The next two things I have are eyebrow brushes. So this is the one I use when my eyebrows are just natural and it's good to come through. 
and then I use this one for when I have my makeup on because it doesn't like take the makeup off or smear it. And these are both mascara brushes. Little quick life hack. When you're done with your mascara, don't throw away the wand. Just use <laughs> just use makeup remover, clean it off, and you got you an eyebrow brush. And I absolutely love this hack. I had this one for quite a while. Now I had it for over a year and it still works great. So I just have those two eyebrow brushes. Next thing I have is an eyeshadow brush. This is my absolute favorite blending brush. It's the BH Cosmetics one. And it's just the fluffy blending brush, and I use this one every day, and it's just easy and accessible. So, yeah. The next thing I have is a mascara, of course. Right now, I'm using the Maybelline New York, the Mega Plush Volume one. And I'm almost out of this, so this should be changing by tomorrow. But I always have a mascara in there because, like I said, my eyelashes tend to fall off. So, I always have a mascara. Then, the next thing I have is tweezers. I always have tweezers. Tweezers come in handy with everything. So, I always have to have tweezers. And then, the last thing I have are just Q-tips. It's always good to have Q-tips or something to clean up your makeup with. Because I always hate when I have nothing like to clean up my makeup with or clean up around my lipstick. So, I just have like a couple Q-tips in here. But, I'm probably going to stock up more on these. So, that is everything that is in my makeup bag. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys like this video for like the start off of 2017. I have lots of fun ideas coming out this year. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. We're almost to 700. Thank you guys so much. And if you want to comment down below what's different in your everyday makeup bag. What do you like in your makeup bag and what also do you have similar with it. So this is what was in my makeup bag and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.